Oh, hey everybody. Hi, okay, this is gonna be a longer one, but uh, I need a drink. Um, Saturday afternoon, I went to, where'd I go? I went to make some copies. And I went to Goodwill, I found some stuff. I don't know if I'll show it in this video, but cheers, whatever. I'm gonna read a letter. Okay, so this is from good buddy TZ. I need to write him a letter too. It says, oh brother, where are you thou? Nobody gets me. The two larger sheets of paper are from the dude in Oregon that my music's never good enough for. But Sonic Youth rocked after he smoked an e-cigarette he found on the ground. Chigger, please. Anyway, my buddy Francois, Francois's info is in here. He wants you to write to him. He writes for Ear of Corn sometimes. So TZ sent me this letter. This is like two letters. So, okay, well, 5724, Todd, how are you doing? I hope this finds you well and maybe enjoying some warmer temps. Here, things are about the same. I just came off a 19-day straight work week. We had graduation, always a huge mess of stuff to move from the college to the convention center at the beach. Then back to the college, plus... Dozens of other events to set up and break down and clean up after. And now summer semester starts tomorrow, so it all starts again, but whatever. It's strange getting older. I am 50. And some some, some things from 20 or 30 years ago are as fresh in my mind as when they happen. Other things, not so much. At the end of Blade Runner, as he dies, he ponders the things he saw, his memories, and their loss, and his death. I wonder the same thing. As I get older, when I forget it, it will be like they never happened. When I am dead, after a while I will be forgotten, and I will be like I never happened except for my DNA floating around in the gene pool. It's very, I don't know, dark or stone cold reality things, I wonder. I think that's, that's it. Uh, this is another, this is a letter from the guy that doesn't like TZ's music. I love your music, TZ. I mean, and a few people do. I was gonna. Anyway. Todd, I'm enjoying this e cigarette I found in the gutter. It's lasting a long time. I probably won't turn into a Nick head. It doesn't do much besides make me lightheaded. I think the nicotine helped me enjoy Dirty by Sonic Youth. Dirty and Goo are concept albums about New York City load whores. Why did I capitalize that? It should be a band name I'll suggest. I'll suggest it to Food Fortunata since TZ is taking a short break from making music. It surprised me how much it rocked, and it sounded fresh and timeless. It didn't sound like a 90s alternative rock. It didn't sound like a 90s alternative rock. Now I will spend months listening to their discography on YouTube, music, and Bandcamp. I've had Sonic, U use Sonic Youth phases before. I was bored of them until last night. Then my mind started saying, Sonic Youth, Rock Sandwich. <coughs> Woman Expert. This is a new pen. I just took a little nub off the end. I'll put it with the chip nips. Two nights in a row, I had dreams about the void opening up where Tofka was. She was in the girlfriend spot. I'm in a low status. I'm a low status male, so I can only have one girlfriend at a time. Although Tofka was not my girlfriend. Many potential girlfriends would have had a problem with her bathroom shelf and our close relationship. It's Moist Monday in Pugin, Oregon. Mowing wet lawns is a drag. I prefer the short summer lawns that turn to dust under the dominion of my ferocious blade. I feel almost giddy this morning with the freedom from Taff Cow's bullshit hamburger. Is this hamburger Frank? <laughs> Sounds like a, a weenie head. So thanks, TZ. I'm, I, I'll write you back. I know I've been emailing you, but I'll, I'll get back to you. So yeah, I'm going to talk about a movie. 
So I'm going to talk about Hysterical from 1982. So I'm sure you do this too. Like there'll be a movie that I remember, but I don't, or like a flash, you know. And I remember this movie. All I remember was like there were zombies. And they say, what difference does it make? If you ask them anything, they just say, what difference does it make? So I was like, what the hell is that? Like, I could never think of what it was. So one day, or just like Monday, I was like, well, maybe it was last week, but I was like, I'm just going to type in what different, what movie do zombies say? What difference does it make? And, and it came up. It was hysterical. And I was like, I'm sure it's on YouTube. And lo and behold, it's on YouTube. And I watched it. And it wasn't that good. Like, as I was watching it, because I remember it being really funny, but I guess I was like eight or nine, maybe ten. Probably earlier than that. So it's about this writer. Uh, just call him Casper. Like he goes to a small town to write the great American novel, and there's a lighthouse, and Julie Newmar's ghost is in there. Julie Newmar was Catwoman from the Adam West TV show, and she raises the corpse of her long dead lover, and but she wants Casper now. But she's making her long dead lover, who played by Richard Keel, Jaws from, from the James Bond movies, and he's killing people. He, and then they turn into zombies when he kills them, and they just walk around. Or people don't even notice. But you, if you ask them something, they're all, "What difference does it make?" And I just remember, like, I thought it was, like, "Oh man, this is gonna be so cool." And yeah, it really wasn't. It stars the Hudson Brothers were three like wacky comedians from the 70s who had a TV show and they're just so corny and lame actually I wanted to like them but there's something unlikable about them uh, the cast though like I already said it has Richard Keel, Julie Newmar Robert Donner who who he rides a bike and he's just like Ralph from Friday the 13th and he's all you're doomed and then he'll get like hit by a truck or fall off a bridge or uh, a cliff or something. Franklin Ajay, another comedian who I remember from, uh, oh my God, I can't remember. Hollywood Shuffle, remember that? With Robert Townsend. Um, Murray Hamilton, who was in Jaws. I think he was the mayor. His character, character's name was Vaughn in Jaws. So this cast is pretty good. And it has John Larroquette in a tiny role. He smokes a joint. You know, I just thought that they say they paid him to do the narration for the opening crawl in Texas Chainsaw Massacre with weed. And then here, man, he must have be a big weed head. And he's really... John Larroquette, yeah. He, he doesn't even really do anything. He's, he's funny in his tiny, tiny little part. Overall... Uh, and then, uh, but this is from 1982, and two of the brothers, they're dressed like Indiana Jones, and I was like, when did Indiana Jones come out? Did it come out in 81 or 80? Uh, and then they parody The Exorcist. Uh, there's a couple, maybe, and it looks, the quality is so bad on YouTube. And then, at the end, they have like a, a, a zombie musical dance number, which was really lame. Yeah, I had to str I struggled through this. And I just, I was like, man, I, I gotta see this movie. I loved it when I was there. I think I loved it when I was a kid. I, I wonder if I saw it more than once. It seems like this is a movie I just would watch over and over again whenever they would show it on HBO or Showtime. But yeah, I discovered what it was, and it's not that good. <laughs> but I, I'm glad I saw it. Just to, like, just get that little brain bug that was bothering me I was like crawling in there and I was like what is this movie it's hysterical and, and it just wasn't very good to give it a two <laughs> two out of five and there's so much I could say but yeah it's, it's just not funny maybe to like a you know, like a seven or eight year old so uh I'm not going to show everything I got from uh, places I, I went to Goodwill and Half Price Books. 
but I'll show you one thing I got. I'm really jazzed to get it. I got Striker on VHS. And it was like five bucks. They didn't like, poke, poke my eyes out. Like, I'd say this is like a rare VHS now. Good condition. I've, always, I've never seen it. I've always wanted to see it. So we'll see. And I got more vids coming. I've been watching a lot of stuff. So um, I'll see you soon. Maybe later today.